Peter Gao is a distinguished professor and author who teaches at St. Andrews University in Scotland. Back in May, I was visiting the country when I met him. At the time, he was already speaking passionately about this referendum. Earlier, I spoke to him about the lead up to this vote in the city of Dundee, where he lives. It generated really interesting arguments. You know, people have really been thinking about it, you know. Um, uh, and in a, in a polite way, I think, you know, it's been interesting. I've had some very interesting conversations with friends and colleagues and so forth about it. Taxi drivers, for example. Uh, so I take it you voted today. What was it like? It was, it's not, um, it was, it, where I live, um, the voting, you know, in things like general elections or local elections or what have you, it's not, there tend to be relatively few people at the sort of times that I vote. Whereas today I did actually have to queue for about three minutes, but, you know, that was kind of quite unusual. And it seemed to be a lot of enthusiasm here. You know, the weather isn't very good. You know, it's, it's very misty. There's drizzle. You know, I got wet when I, I went to vote. But, you know, people seem to be enthusiastic. Over in, when I went to work over in St. Andrews, I was talking to one of the secretaries who works as a pre, um, presiding officer in St. Andrews. And she said she was surprised by how slow it was in St. Andrews, whereas I think in Dundee it's been a lot busier, a lot more enthusiasm about it. What's your sense? How do you think it's going to go? I don't know. I don't know. Scottish people are really canny voters. And if they think what everyone seems to want is a kind of very close result, relatively few people want a massive yes, and relatively few people want a massive no. So probably as people begin to wonder, you know, as they try and second guess what's going on, they'll, they'll either... You know, they'll, they'll try and keep it close, is my sense, is my sense. I've got two more questions for you. One, um, it, it, somebody the other night was saying here in the United States that um, Scotland wins whether the vote is yes or no, that they're getting a lot more attention than they were prior to this. Do you feel as though Scotland comes away a winner no matter what? I think yes, and ultimately Scotland is a winner. I mean, yes or no, um, Scotland has got to has got to be taken a lot more seriously, and one of the striking things about about this process is, uh, I mean, to give an example, when Gordon Brown, who I have a lot of the former prime minister, who I have a lot of time for, you know, said, "Look, if you vote no, we'll give you a lot more powers," and I thought, Gordon, if we vote vote yes, we'll take more powers. So you know, it's kind of it's become quite ludicrous towards the end. This the kind of you know the no campaign. The no campaign from outside, the no campaign from inside has been really quite noble, you uh, know. I, I get the sense from the way you just uh, talked about that you voted yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> but I decided, I made up my mind 40 years ago when I was 16, possibly for not very good reasons. But, you know, I haven't changed my mind since, you know. I, I've, got, I've got one final question for you, um, it, because it's another story that's percolating over here in the United States. The home of golf is about to find out if its doors are open to women. Is that getting more attention because you teach there at St. Andrews, or is this getting more attention? No, this is getting a lot more attention. I mean, I hope to goodness they finally admit women, you know, because that's just shameful. You know, the principal of the University of St. Andrews, the principal is always automatically made a member of that club until we got a woman and she was denied it, you know? You know, so that, you know, and another day, another... Um, September vote, I and mean, on any other day would have got quite a lot of attention, but maybe not today. <laughs> Peter, thank you so much for joining us from Dundee. Certainly appreciate it.